Pro Tips for Battlefield 1, Episode 2. Another seven things you might not know about that could give you the upper hand out there on the battlefield. Let's start off with some horse themed stuff today. They can be a right pain in the butt sometimes, especially when you've got an objective to take and they're galloping around causing a massive nuisance. Lots of people struggle with taking them down, the horses have their own health values and aiming for the player on top is often fairly difficult if they're moving at speed. Why not change the game a little bit and bring the heavy explosives to the fight? Spot a horse off in the distance or maybe they're looping the area, watch their track and try and draw them out and lay down some dynamite. Wait for the rider to focus in and boom, bye bye horsey. The dynamite will take out a horse with one stick as long as it's close enough, so maybe lure them out into an open area before attempting this, you don't want to get yourself killed. Did you know as an infantryman you can prone to get away from the vicious swipe of a cavalry officer's sword? The sword itself can't reach the ground, so if a horse is charging at you, try and time the prone right to get away from that swipe and you could still be alive on the other side. Be aware though, don't prone too early or the rider will simply change course and trample you instead. The timing is key here. I don't see people doing this one a lot, but as the cavalry class you do have the chance to drop ammo and health when you're on the horse. Trot past some friendly teammates and drop them a little present. I see people doing this once they've dismounted the horse and they're running around on foot, but rarely while they're on horseback. Be a team player, drop those bullets and those bandages. Moving on now, let's look at some weapon tips. Did you know that you can have multiple loadout presets saved, so you don't have to mess around changing everything every time you swap maps? In the loadout screen, this little option here to the left of the main class icons allows you to select which one you want to use for each class. Head into the customize menu and at the top above the main primary weapon, you can see which of the presets you have active. You can even rename each preset too. See here I have the Hellregal preset, a Hunter preset, I know, Scrub Lord Westy confirmed, and an MP18 preset too. These loadout sets will save you time selecting weapons so you can spend more time fighting out there on the battlefield. This next tip is actually really neat. Ever wondered how scouts keep killing you from inside buildings? You know when the kill cam zooms in and he's like a bloody mile off behind some wall? Well I discovered this little tip the other day. If you're in a building and sniping out, shoot out a little portion of the door or the window that you're using, but keep the shutters closed. Now you've got a little spy hole to snipe out of, and your view is completely clear, but your enemies out there will barely be able to see you at all. Step back a little bit as well, and you almost become completely invisible to people looking towards you. This is really helpful on Sinai Desert, where the snipers do hang around in the little town at the north of the map. A couple more general tips now. Last week I showed you how to use the comma rows to assign objectives to attack or defend as a squad. Let's go back there for a second. See that number next to each objective? That's how many other squad leaders have marked the same objective for their squad. That info will help you decide if you want to go over there and assist them to take that point quickly or perhaps direct your squad to another objective and take that one for your team. Sometimes it can be really helpful to attack in numbers, especially if you've been struggling to take that point all game, but sometimes it's best not to overcrowd an area. All it takes is one incendiary grenade to set you all on fire. And lastly for today, vehicle seats. How many times have you hopped into a transport vehicle in Battlefield 1 and found yourself sitting on the gunner position or in the passenger spot when no one's sitting in the driver spot? Really annoying, right? Well, be smart and simply run up to the vehicle, head to the location on the outside for which seat you want to take, and then jump in. Previous Battlefield games didn't have the snazzy entry animation, but Battlefield 1 does. Just like in real life, you wouldn't attempt to get into a car from the passenger side if you were going to be the one driving it. Get in the driver's side, problem solved. And that wraps up episode 2 of Pro Tips for Battlefield 1. I hope you've learned something new today. Make sure you leave your tips down below in the comments. Let me know what you're doing out there to get the one up on the battlefield. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys 
in the next video.